Yeah, Johnny, uh, first of all, many, many congratulations. A bright spark in amongst uh, a sort of slightly dim series, if I can put it that way. How proud are you of that? Extremely proud. Um, yeah, really, really proud. And uh, you've known me for long enough now and how yeah. much that'll mean. So, yeah. I mean, given the circumstances, let's talk, let's keep it on you for now. Let's leave the team out of this for a moment, because this has been an extraordinary journey for you over the last decade or so. Uh, in red ball cricket, in white ball cricket, in and out of a team, uh, watching the first three games. You come in at Melbourne, look comfortable, but now you've really added to that. But how, how difficult has that been for you over the years? Yeah, it's been tough. You've got to, you've got to dig deep. Uh, you really have. Um, I'm sure you guys and everyone else will have mentioned the scheduling and uh, how much Red Bull cricket people are playing leading into massive series like this. And it's not just this series, it's the India series. It's uh, the India series before that when we're over there. And you've got to delve very, very deep into things that you've worked hard on for a number of years. Um, your technique changes over those years um, and you've got to pick parts of it and sometimes go back to the bits that um, you looked at a couple of years ago and that's exactly what I did actually this morning with James Foster. Um, we, just, uh, we just went in the indoor school and literally just had a bit of fun this morning and just went back to something from years ago. Which is what? So exactly what have you done then this morning to get yourself in the right frame for this uh, innings? Trying not to be too rigid, to be really honest with you. Yeah. I think you can look at technique um, a lot um, and th some things work, but in other times you've got to also um, keep being natural about the way that you're moving because otherwise you come, uh, become a bit clunky and uh, a bit too rigid. And that's, uh, and that, that's what I feel sometimes I, I'd got to. I was trying to be something that potentially I'm not. Um, and one of my strengths is putting the pressure back on the bowlers and running between the wickets and, um, and trying to get them off the length to then give me a, a different ball. And, um, yeah, in some ways I wasn't necessarily doing that. Um, but that also comes with spending time out in the middle. Um, yeah, consistently. Right, how's the thumb? Yeah, it's slightly sore. Slightly sore yeah. or really, really sore? Well, it's starting to get a bit more sore now we've come off the field. That's right, there are more tablets available. <laughs> Take the allergenics anytime yeah, you like. Look, uh, but what, what difference does that make to you? Because obviously it looked very painful at the time, a couple of tablets, and yet it didn't seem to hamper you afterwards. I was hurting. <laughs> um, yeah. But uh, look, I think that it's you're playing in a, a New Year's test match in Sydney uh, on the pink day. Uh, it's going to take heck of a lot to get you off the field, let's put it that way. And um, Yeah, in some ways you could say it freed you up, some ways it doesn't, but at the end of the day you've still got a job to do. Um, it, it, yeah, it is sore, yes, it, it will be sore, but at the end of the day you're playing cricket for England and uh, I'm very, very proud to do that. And then that final over of the day, obviously you know, within reach of the hundred, couple of plays and misses, bat on ball, how does that feel? Unbelievable. Yeah, absolutely yeah. unbelievable. I was ecstatic, um, extremely proud. Uh, there's a lot of hard work gone into that one. I'm sure there is. Uh, talk about Ben Stokes as well then, because Ben's had a relatively quiet series. For him, today was a bit of a release, was it? Uh, yeah, look, I think that the way that Stokes went out and played, he's obviously got a, a slight niggle as well. Mm. Um, and the way in which he went out and, and put the uh, pressure back on their, their attack and the way in which he ran between the wickets and, and, and combated um, some good, good spells of bowling from their guys was, was really important to try and shift that momentum. It sounds like you need to injure everyone just gently to get them <laughs> There's going. There's a few knocking about. Don't worry just, about just, that. Knock yourselves about a bit, yeah. <laughs> um, state of the game then. Uh, to be fair, you're still a long way behind. Uh, two days to go, who knows what the weather might or might not bring us. How do you view these next two days? Uh, we've got two days to, to scrap and scrap hard. Mm. That's, how, that's how we look at it. Uh, we had a, a challenge this morning uh, to still be batting at the end of the day. We're still batting at the end of the day. We come in the morning. They've obviously got a, a new ball that's, uh, that, that's coming as well. So, yeah, uh, tomorrow it's about scrapping and, and scrapping hard again. And, Look, the first thing was to try and get to the follow-on. Uh, we've got to the follow-on and past that, and let's see how close we can get to them. All right, well, look, enjoy the scrap for the next two days, but first of all, well batted. Cheers. Thank you, David.